where two oceans meet but do not blend, the Atlantic and Pacific. Have you ever wondered why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans don't mix? Today, we're going to delve into the science behind this unusual phenomenon. Our planet is home to five oceans, but two stand out as the most prominent, the Atlantic and Pacific. Separated by the American continents, these bodies of water have a peculiar trait. They meet but never mix. At the meeting point in the Gulf of Alaska, you can see a distinct line. It's an unbelievable sight where murky, green waters of the Pacific meet the dark blue Atlantic waters without merging. But why does this happen? It's not a magic trick or a man-made phenomenon. It's the result of a complex interplay between the ocean's different physical properties. The Atlantic and Pacific Oceans have significant differences in temperature and salinity due to the influence of their respective climates. These differences create a physical barrier that keeps the oceans from fully blending. The Atlantic Ocean, warmed by the Gulf Stream currents, is saltier and warmer than the Pacific. This gives it a higher density, making it harder for the two oceans to mix. On the other hand, the Pacific Ocean, cooled by the cold Alaskan currents, is fresher and colder, giving it a lower density. When these two bodies of water meet, the colder and fresher Pacific waters sit atop the warmer and saltier Atlantic waters, creating a visible divide. It's not just the temperature and salinity that affects the mixing, but also the speed and direction of the ocean currents. Different current velocities can further enhance the separation of the two oceans. This phenomenon isn't exclusive to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Similar occurrences can be found wherever contrasting bodies of water meet, like at the meeting point of the Rhine and Moselle rivers in Germany. But, it's essential to emphasize that the oceans are not entirely separate entities. Despite the visible boundaries, small amounts of water do mix at molecular levels over time. This slow mixing is crucial for maintaining the global climate and dispersing nutrients throughout the oceans. It contributes to the overall health and diversity of marine ecosystems. The separation of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans is a unique testament to the power and complexity of nature's processes. It's a phenomenon that continues to captivate scientists and laypersons alike. So the next time you gaze upon the vast expanse of the ocean, remember that there's more to it than meets the eye. The intricate interactions between temperature, salinity, and oceanic currents shape the world beneath the waves in fascinating ways. Separate yet interconnected, our oceans carry their own distinct identities while contributing to the global system that sustains life on Earth. Their meeting point in the Gulf of Alaska is a powerful reminder of the forces at work beneath the surface. It's a visual testament to the unseen boundaries that define our world's oceans. By understanding this marvel of nature, we can appreciate the world's ocean's complexity more and realize the importance of preserving these bodies of water. So let's continue to marvel at the wonders of our planet, dive into the mysteries of the deep, and do our part in preserving these vast, complex ecosystems. Remember, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans may not mix, but they are part of a single, interconnected global ocean that covers most of our planet. So in the grand scheme of things, whether they mix or not isn't as important as the fact that they exist, they're healthy, and they're part of our shared heritage. Let's appreciate their beauty, respect their might, and strive to keep our oceans vibrant, diverse, and teeming with life. For in their depths lie many more mysteries waiting to be uncovered.